Maxwell, welcome back to my channel. This is J Max Reacts, and tonight I'm gonna to be watching Types of People on Family Feud. This is about Love Live Serve. Let's see what they do with this. This is Types of People on Family Feud. Let's get straight to it. The person that's too slow. Give me a boy's name that starts with the letter H. <sighs> The one who the family is relying on to win the game, and then they blow it. Let's <laughs> go. Name something people chew on but don't swallow. Steve, I'm going to say shoelaces. What? Why would you chew on a shoelace? When your family loses, but you still have to clap and act happy. <laughs> Person who gives the dumbest answer on the planet, but they're super confident. Uh, Tell me a place you go where you take off your clothes. Slip and slide. Nigga, what? It's up there. Yeah. What is, what is, what is slip and slide? No, when you're doing a thing and you gotta strip down, slip and slide. What are you talking about? Watch, it's up there. 100 percent sure. The person who gives a confusing answer. 100 men, tell me a traffic sign that best describes your love life. Do not pass, go. <laughs> <laughs> Do not pass go. Me at home watching the show. Name something of yours that your dog eats, and all you can do is wait for it to come out the other end. Shoes. Keys. 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 Not keys. Shoes, socks, homework. They need to get me on this show. I'm telling you, they gotta get me on here. The person who gives an inappropriate answer. All right, here we go. Name something that might be bouncy. I'm gonna go ahead and say my balls, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, man. Let's see. The person who gives a stupid answer. Name someone a man might not want to know that he uses Viagra. Steve, I'm gonna go ahead and say the President of the United States. Looking for the President of the United States. <laughs> Will you accidentally end your marriage? If you could get rid of one thing in your life for a whole year, what would you choose? I'm gonna go ahead and say my wife. <laughs> The idiot who says good answer right after the person's stupid answer. My boss may have more money than I do, but I got more blank than he does. I'm going to say money, Steve. Good answer. Good answer. It's up there. When the dumbest person in the family gets sent up to do sudden death and then loses the game for the entire family. Name something people crunch. The Pillsbury Doughboy. What? Oh. You're awesome. Steve Harvey when someone gives a dumb answer. <laughs> he said, Kittle Pine. <laughs> <Not a whole musk>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the person who's trying to act all charismatic and then gives a long-winded answer. Fill in the blank. All people should have a second blank. Okay, now, now I'm not speaking from personal experience here, but growing up, I was told always to be, you know, faithful. But with that being said, Steve, I'm going to have to go ahead and say you could have a second spouse or significant other. And again, I'm not speaking for personal experience. I'm speaking for the purposes of the question. <laughs> Good answer. She dropped the card and everything. It's up there. A second spouse or partner. Time the out. family who picks the absolute worst person to play fast money. 20 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Name something your neighbor does for you when you're on vacation. Pause the golf balls. On a scale of 1 to 10, how prepared are most people to be parents? 10. Fill in the blank. Knuckle. Windmill. Name a color you find on the Rubik's Cube. Turquoise. Tell me the most expensive thing you own. 1976 Vintage Golf Club. The person who doesn't get to participate because the other family keeps winning all the first question face-offs. <laughs> person that brags about their job when Steve Harvey asks what they do. Well, Steve, it is nice to meet you. I am a fourth grade school teacher in the Charles County School District in Southern Maryland. I love my students. I was awarded Teacher of the Year just this past year. Thank you. Thank you. And Steve, one of the things that, like, with my career is the guy who gets left hanging. I'm going to say a, a bottle of Gatorade, Steve. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> family where everyone looks alike. <laughs>
When Steve Harvey reads the Fast Money questions all slow and shit. 20 seconds on the clock. Name a celebrity who is often or always known by one name. Usher. Name a flavor you'd find in any ice cream shop. Vanilla. Dude, there's like 10 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> me whenever a black family wins. We find a way from twenty thousand dollars. Tell me a state that begins with a vowel. You said Arkansas. We need five. Sorry, said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The person who keeps saying pass during the fast money round. Besides a hospital, name another place a nurse might get a job. Pass. Besides books, name something you'd find in most school libraries. Pass. Besides fish, name something sold at a tropical fish store. Pass. Besides all pass. Of, well, besides pass. a hospital, besides pass. books. Okay, well we have to answer one of them. When they give a stupid answer, but it actually ends up being on the board. <laughs> That's something anyway. that a person with long legs might not be able to fit into. I'm gonna go with long pants. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Looking for them long pants. <laughs> told you, told you, it's up there. It was up there. The person who says good answer right after their terrible answer. An animal, the farmer's wife says the farmer acts like in the bed. Steve, I'm gonna go with spaghetti. Let's go with spaghetti. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. It is very accurate too. Like I don't watch Family Feud often, but like I watch the clips when they pop up on um I think Facebook all the time, and my family watches it, so I catch it in passing. And that is so so real and so accurate. <laughs> Shout out to Lovely Sir. Make sure y'all go subscribe to their channel. They they do some of the funniest things, and it's always just accurate. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. It's accurate. Um, let me know what you thought about it below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, peace.